and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the star classification and this table. Now this table is in something you need to learn because you may be given questions that will imply that you know the knowledge about it. So on the board I have got three seven classes of stars that have been classified. Now in my previous video I talked about this idea of Bulmer lines and the fact that we originally classified our stars based on how strong those Balmer lines were. So we started at A and worked all the way to Z. Now over the years, we sorted the classifications out, we merged things together to get some broader categories, and then we realised that the idea of looking at Balmer lines was not a good thing at all, that we might have needed to look at something a little bit higher than that. The hotter stars, the ones with the weakest in the Balmer lines, might actually be weak because they are too hot not because they are cold. So instead of reclassifying every single star, they changed the order. And this is the order that we use today, which is O, B, A, F, G, K, M. There are many acronyms for this. So the most famous one is O, B, a fine girl and kiss me. So O, B, a fine girl, kiss me is one of the famous ones, but there are all sorts of other ones that different students make. I've heard O, begats, a, flingo, a flamingo got killed mercilessly, I've heard of that one as well. So there's lots of different acronyms and whatever suits you is a good way of remembering it. So the, these, the information that is found on this table is firstly the star, but also the colour that it relates to, and this relates to Vine's law, okay? And the O-class stars tend to be blue, 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 white, 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 yellow, orange, and red. Our star tends to be around the G or the K. Okay, so 5,800. So it would find itself within a G class star here. Okay, so it's a yellow white colour, which is approximately our colour of our sun there. Now, these temperatures are important because they are used in Stefan's law as well as relating to this Vines law colour here. So the temperatures, the O class star, which originally didn't have very strong Balmer lines, happened to be found to be one of the hottest stars that we have. And that's between 20, 25,000 and 50,000 Kelvin. Whereas an M-class star at the bottom is a reddish colour and has a temperature of less than 3,500. Now I mentioned about the fact that originally we classified A as one of the brightest and hottest stars due to its strength and Balmer lines. And if we actually look at the elements here, is that yes, indeed, H, hydrogen, is present. These are the most prominent absorption lines. But as you can see here, if we go back to an O-class star, this has got ionised helium, hydrogen and helium, as prominent Balmer lines, um, problem absorption lines. This implies that if we were looking at Balmer lines, which was the original classification, this, of course, would be classified right at the bottom, because we're looking at ionised, we're looking at even hotter, more energy to actually ionise that helium. As you go down, we start looking at different um, elements prominently. And very specifically at the bottom, we have this, a lot of, people, a lot of students go, what's TIO stand for? That's titanium oxide. We have much heavier elements as we go down. So we start talking about metals, etc. So the further you go down, the absorption lines change and you start having less of the hydrogen and more of other elements. So these colder stars tend to have, they do have hydrogen, of course, they're stars that fuse, but they tend to have metals and neutral metals, etc. Okay, so this titanium oxide is quite useful because it is quite a heavy element. So this is the basis of the classification of stars. And you can use this information a little bit later on um, to be able to determine about properties of stars. It is important that you know this because the exam board will never give it to you and they will assume that you know what the temperature range of a class B star is, etc, etc. So that there is the classification of stars table.